So like you've heard, everybody has a story. We all have stories, trials, tribulations in our lives. And everyone has a story and a reason here today why we decided to go back to school and finish and further our education. My, my story started in second grade. That was when I decided I wanted to be in the medical field. My mom, who's here today, is the hardest worker ever and my biggest supporter. She was a single mom, raising two kids on her own. Times were really rough. We didn't have a lot of money. In fact, in fourth grade, we were homeless. We lived in our van. It was a nice van. <laughs> I remember my mom always saying, to make it, I needed to go to college and be something. I needed to be able to take care of myself and not to have to depend on anybody for anything. Because ultimately, you have you. You have to depend on you. I went um, to high school and in 1992 I graduated and went straight to college and got my BSN in nursing. I've been a nurse for over 20 years. I have experience in the ICU, ER, NICU, med surge, housekeeping, dietary, pharmacy. <laughs> Throughout my career, I always knew I wanted to go back and earn a master's degree, but the timing was never right. Kids, school, my favorite TV episodes. <laughs> Finally, in 2003, I heard about WGU through a coworker of mine. Um, and I decided that, you know what, this was the right time, and I enrolled in the nursing administration program in, 19, in 2014. I earned my master's in nursing administration and leadership. But then I decided that I wanted more, which I know that's crazy, you're like, you already have a degree. But I w decided that I wanted um, to fill in the gaps and holes, um, and I wanted to go back and get my MBA. I was still in the school mode. And then looky, here we are, graduated, graduated. <laughs> These past three years have been a difficult time in my life. I'm a single mom raising three beautiful kids. I work two to three jobs, and I'm a manager of a critical care unit where I'm required to be on call 24 seven. I lost my 20 year old brother in a tragic motorcycle accident a year ago, but through all of that, I had wonderful support from my kids, my family, my friends, and my second family, which is my WGU family. On my weekly calls, I would speak to my mentor, Stacy, and she guided me with whatever class I was working on, but she was also there for me as a friend. And I'm pretty sure you guys can relate to that too, mentors being friends. She listened to me cry when I couldn't pass marketing, and she listened to me cry when I couldn't pass it the second time. <laughs> and she listened to me cry that I had to pay the $60 retake fee for the third time. <laughs> Which, if I'm up here, I did pay that. Did I pay that? I think I did. But I passed. But you know, she listened to me cry when I lost my brother. And she sent me the most beautiful card with condolences and signatures from all of the student mentors. All of your mentors who don't know me, but they cared enough to send their wishes to me. Attending WGU has been one of the greatest decisions of my life. I have learned so much, not just academic lessons, marketing, but also about myself as well. Being strong, not giving up, and most of all, I feel like I'm an example for my kids. I came from nothing, no money, no home, no father, but I'm successful. I can give. I can give my kids all the things my mom struggled to give me, and I can say to them, I know you can do anything you set your mind to, because I did. I congratulate each and every one of you here today for your success and for your story. But guess what? We're not done. This is just the beginning of our future. Thank you.